Now, for those people who may not be the creator, but who want to develop the skills uh, to, for example, to be able to use social media, uh, to use technology to their advantage, uh, what advice would you give uh, to those to those people? I think the best thing is to figure out where you are and start from there. Right. Like, what are you comfortable with? What are easy wins that you could accomplish? What are the more difficult and complicated things that you can learn and acquire skills? So sometimes just reading a website helps me learn a new skill. Sometimes I don't understand the website and I need to go to watch a YouTube video. Sometimes that doesn't work. And I actually have to talk to somebody to figure out and take a class to figure out how to learn that thing. And I think that, you know, we all have this continuum of what's the easiest way to learn Everybody has a different learning style. So in my programming class, I have slides because that's a normal thing to have in a class. And a student said to me, you know, I'd also like to have an interactive video. I said, no problem. So I recorded a video that goes over the entire module. It goes over the book. It goes over the slides. So now I have a video about the slides. It's like a meta video. And the students are like, OK, that's fantastic. Another student came to me and said, could you do a podcast? Like, can you? Tell me about the, I'm like, programming isn't very interesting in a podcast. It's not really, you know, you have to see it to understand what's going on. So I don't know about that, but I think if you find the learning style that works best for you and you find the material that you resonate with, it makes learning a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to see other people do it and to get an idea of how it works.